Welcome to the Daily Jing for Monday, April 9th. Here's the quote of the day. Everyone should keep someone else's diary. Oscar Wilde. Let's go to the schedule. <coughs> Monday of the 11th week. So, let's look at the notes here that I put up for the research paper. So the secret of this short research paper is to drill down into a controversial subject and get to the heart of a topic in five to six pages. It will not work for you to stay at the general information level. Take the topic of the, take the, topic of the founding of Google, 1998. Can you believe it's only been 20 years? For me, Google is a tough topic because there is very little controversy, at least on the face of it. Who doesn't like the convenience of searching Google? It's, it's, it's convenience to apps like, like YouTube. It's present, it's pervasive and integral part of our lives, right? So what might people be arguing about in in relation to Google? One place to look for controversy is on technology forums, but as you might know, there is very little substance to foreign forum debates. You might also find sites that hate Google to get a sense of what the haters are all about. But do you really want to hear someone spew invective? The idea is to find something that fair-minded people can disagree about. This may be hard with something like Google if you are a fan or if you're not. It's The bottom line is that you can't write a report about how you use Google every day. For me, Google begins and ends with privacy, as does Facebook. How are these tech giants pr protecting our information? You know, that's the question. The current threats to privacy is the kind of topic that the founding of Google in 1998 should make you want to research. Um, this is only one of those kinds of topics out of out of Google, you know, the pervasiveness of of their search engine could be another one, and and its effects on on society. Okay, what I really want to happen with all these anniversary events is to have you project them into the current time to see some controversy you might want to write about, write and research about. In other words. Don't write about Google or Vietnam or the Red Baron, but use these things, events, and people to help you find some controversy, some debatable issue that we are, we are dealing with now. The 4RP assignment, the research paper assignment, is an argumentative research paper. You must do research to find a controversy, something contentious, and take a stand. Argue for how something should be defined for some process that you think will work best or for the right way to act in a situation. Locate the debate first and stay away from the big controversies like capital punishment, marijuana, abortion, etc. These have been written to death. There is nothing that you can say that is interesting about these topics. I know. I have read hundreds of these sorts of papers. Think of your audience. Write something that is interesting and entertaining and new. Finally, try to find something within the anniversary date, a year with an eight in it, at the end of it. That is doable That is doable and interesting to you. Write about something that you know little about so the research will be fun and it, it becomes a process of discovery. Break out of your everyday Googleness and find an interesting topic that people see as problematic and debatable. So here's an example of how you can go from an anniversary topic to a modern day controversy. For instance, you could start with the first women astronauts circa 1978 and the notion of women in the astronaut service or core and what it means for men and women to be in space together. Follow the pioneering women astronauts like Sally Ride who was killed in the Challenger accident. 
talk about various changes in metabolism for humans, especially women in zero gra gravity. For instance, childbirth in, childbirth in zero gravity. Argue for gender parity. Argue for schools that push STEM majors for women. Argue for the kinds of skills women can bring to space travel, etc. Okay, so let's go back to the notes. <clears throat> Well, one other thing to the key page. Um, this is a line that's in the syllab that's in the assignment sheet, and I want to bring it to your attention. So, important word to the wise: you will be asked to submit your drafts to Turnitin, a plagiarism detector in D2L. Also, do not post a paper for this assignment that you have written for another class. This will result in you failing this course. Okay? So don't try that. Finally, let's go. What are the, what, what SRA are we working today? Working, we're working on the 11 SRA to narrow your topic. And I'll be, I'll be going in to into D2L, to your responses to 11 SRA and, and giving you comments this week. All right? Okay, thanks. Bye.